Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons. Going to make falafel, there's the recipe, or is it falafel? I don't know. So it would appear that dried chickpeas are better than using a cooked tinned chickpea. Although I have seen some recipes for those as well, so by all means give that a try. But we're soaking these for 24 hours, cold water, and that's going to be covered, and that's going in the fridge. And then we're going to magically fast forward 24 hours. Change of t-shirt. And you can see how much they've swollen up, the water's changed colour a bit, so... Yeah, just thought I'd, what I'd do here is show you. Look, see? Anyway, drain those. Chop up some vegetables very quickly. But you can't beat that. That was garlic, onion, and parsley. Now, here's this point where I discover, oh, I think my uh, food processor might be a bit small for this, but I'm on telly, so I'm going to carry on and pretend nothing's wrong. Nothing to see here. This will be fine. Okay, so it won't be fine because there's too much in there, but like a stubborn fool, it puts down the lid and let it start, and then you get about, I don't know, 10, 20 seconds in, you go, all right, okay, let's own up, this was wrong. So, get a bowl. What you can do at home is have a bigger machine or do half as much. The recipe was for 500 grams dried, so I caused myself a little bit of a stress here, and, uh, Make myself a little, look a little bit silly, but you know, it's happened before. But the end result was all right, because obviously you're still watching the video, so this will turn out okay. So half the other mixture that wasn't mixing got in the food processor. Don't mix this for too long. You want to sort of create a sort of wet looking sand, a very like a coarse, a coarse ground, not all the way to a mush. I think it's quite a forgiving recipe, really. And I think, yeah, that's just about right. That's nice now. So, get a larger bowl than the other ones so I can get it all in together so we can add the rest of the ingredients. We're going to pretend I didn't say rad. Put more parsley because I thought it didn't look green enough. That's the flour. That's the bicarb soda, which helps to make them nice and light, apparently. And that's the spices. And we're going to put a ton of black pepper in while I'm doing the black pepper. So the falafel, I think it's Egyptian. A little bit of research said it might be Lebanese, but most of it agrees. Egypt, about a thousand years ago. Days of the pharaohs, I believe. Um, originally done with fava beans, but that changed to chickpeas. And they're very popular. And they're so popular, in fact, for a little while, the McDonald's in Egypt had the muk falafel. There you go, or falafel. Now, mixing it, and I'm thinking, it's sort of, you've got the moisture in there, but how is that going to hold together? It's not holding together. But my research on the recipe said that this is the point where you rest it. Pop that in the fridge. A couple of hours, maybe even overnight. This is a couple of hours later, and immediately you can see the texture has changed. It's kind of stodgy now. It will come together. I've got a little frying pan behind, ready just to pan fry that for taste. Because I want to taste it warm. Because when you're seasoning things and serving them warm, they taste different than when they're cold. Yeah, I know. Very informative there. So let's make some balls, shall we? Damp hands make nice smooth balls, and we can thank Chef John for that wisdom from Food Wishes. Hello, John, if you ever watch this. And uh, I'm using a spoon just so I get a reasonably even size, golf ball shape size, I suppose, and there's me making a lot more of them. And I'm also going to make some flat ones. There's me making the flat ones. 
Now, these are popular everywhere around the world, and there's some contention. The Palestinians, I believe, are a little bit upset with the Israelis. They think by them having them as a national dish, they're sort of cultural appropriation. I just think people need to calm down about that. It's a compliment, isn't it? Anyway, this is the dangerous bit. Make sure there's room in your pan. For, it's a high smoke point oil. That's a canola one, light one for the oil to rise and if you can probe it about 180 degrees centigrade 356 approximately fahrenheit and that is after now several minutes i thought they would take i thought they'd go brown and burn quite quickly but no that's about five minutes that was and uh, get them all onto a bit of kitchen paper or a bit of parchment paper that i got scrunched up and uh, i've saved the same oil for this, what you technically call shallow frying of the patties, although it's almost deep frying there. And get them nice and golden on both sides. And that is really how easy making falafel is. So I thought, well, let's quickly knock together a tzatziki, a yogurt, cucumber and mint dip. So natural yogurt went in a bowl, some chopped up mint, and I'm gonna put some cucumber in there. I'm not gonna peel it, and in fact, all I'm going to do is take out the seedy bits from the middle. So there is still quite a lot of water in there. If you were doing this for long in advance, you would probably pre-salt the cucumber after you've diced it up, leave it to drain a little bit, then rinse it off, and then pat it dry. Because otherwise, obviously, what will happen to your yogurt dip? It will eventually get watery because the cucumber will leak. But I knew this uh, was only going to be in the fridge for a few hours, so I didn't bother. So give that a nice stir around and season it to your taste. And that is just one of the nice things, one of the really nice things in life, I think, a nice tzatziki. And it just goes with so much stuff, yum. And here we are, presenting my balls on a platter for you. You are. They look nice, don't they? Yeah, yeah, they're falling down, they're crunchy. Oh, I should say so. And are they nice inside? Well, I think so, yeah. I mean, I personally find falafel, falafel, a little bit dry. I think you need the dip to go with them, but then that's just, maybe that's my taste buds, but I think that was really nice. And uh, let's, uh, some shop-bought pita breads, a couple of spoonfuls of the tzatziki in there, one of the falafel, falafel, I can't say it, my God, falafel burgers in there, a bit of lettuce, and a uh, proper nosh, that's really nice. Vegetarian cooking on Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons. See, it can happen. It doesn't have to be a dessert to be vegetarian on this channel. Occasionally, I will do it accidentally. And it's pretty healthy, I think. Anyway, apart from the deep frying, of course. Anyway, thank you very much for watching Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons. I hope you really like this one. Give us a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, and I'll see you in the next video really soon. Bye.